So let me give you a quick disclaimer. I am by no means an accredited scholar, nor am I speaking in regards to the law of Islam. I'm simply a Muslim woman trying v hard v hard to practice Islam the right way according to Sunnah and the Quran. But again, I'm not a scholar. Uh, if you would like to learn from a proper scholar, I can definitely advise you to one. However, please, 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 I'm not a scholar yet. Which means, give me a little extra prayer. So, from the beginning, I, I absolutely love spirituality. I think it's a beautiful thing. And I feel like all, all humans can agree on that. It's just connecting with your higher power and really developing that relationship. Whether who you believe or used to believe who your higher power is, everyone, I'm pretty sure, can feel that connection somehow. And if you haven't gotten there yet, spirituality is like really cool to dive into and just connect with, whether it's meditation or understanding everything. It's crazy. And I have gone on that path. Like I, I've bollied it up before I was Muslim, namaste, I've done so many things. When I first converted to Islam, I of course went through so many challenges and we'll get into that. So let's talk about first how I got into it. It all started back at a Tony Robbins event, naturally. <laughs> no, but really, I had gone to a Tony Robbins UPW event for those who aren't familiar, he's a personal development guru. Uh, UPW stands for like unleashing the power within, and he's not Muslim at all. Like it was, a, it's a very intense four day event that has like ten thousand people who come together, jump around, try to walk across fire, all that big shebang, or like all this fun stuff. So I had gone there, and the people that I had gone with, there were some that were Muslim, and on Fridays they pray at the mosque. So the event was Thursday through Sunday. And on Friday, they were going to pray at the mosque for Jummah. And the men usually go. um, But women are allowed to go too, of course. So I had asked, like, am I allowed to pray? Like, is that even a thing? I had no idea, people. No idea. And so when I had gone, uh, somebody had said, like, practice as if you believe and God will guide you. It was just a message I either heard in passing or it was like on the message. I'm not 100% sure, but I just remember hearing that. Uh, Let me just like take it back, rewind it with you. A month earlier, I was actually, I went skydiving in Fiji. I was out with my girl and it, it was her birthday and she really wanted to go skydiving. I had no fear of it. It was not something that was on my bucket list. It was something that she wanted to do. It was her birthday. I was like, all right, let's go. Let's do it. So we scheduled skydiving, had gone, and in, if you've ever been before, like you know that there is a free fall period where there's no parachute, you're just literally falling, and I think you're like 30,000 feet up above the air, it's cold, it's like crisp, it's such an experience, and then your parachute comes and you explore the view. So in that free fall experience, no parachute, uh, strapped on like tandem style, I just remember having this like overwhelming blissfully moment. It was just so pure. The air was crisp. It was clean. It was honestly the most relaxed, calm, like happy state that I had ever been in my entire life. And it was just so beautiful. I had a great time. Now, I don't recommend going skydiving or any of that stuff. It was just something that I had done. And bring it back forward, I had gone home Uh, decided, okay, I'm going to practice as if I believe, decided to pray all the five prayers one day. And it was like, had gone into it. And I think maybe on like day two of these prayers, I was on the prayer mat and I just had that overwhelming feeling of bliss again. It just is when I was skydiving. And in that moment, I knew this was not a coincidence. It 100% was that same feeling. Now, how can you get that same feeling sitting grounded to the ground of pure bliss as you have it in the air. I have no idea other than it was an act of God. It was 100% coincidence. It was beautiful and I loved it. I knew like this is exactly for me. So I stuck with it and I have been Muslim ever since. 
So it was definitely uh, like two Ramadans ago. I say that because I had converted like a week before Ramadan and went straight into it. If you don't know what Ramadan is, it is the month. It's actually the name of the month, Ramadan, like the Islamic month. It is a month of fasting where you don't have water or food from dusk to dawn, essentially. Yes, I did say, and no water. (laughs) Which, interesting enough, like a lot of health gurus have been saying, like, they call it dry fasting. They've been uh, talking about all of the health benefits that it it gives you if you do that, Um, which... Again, not a coincidence, people. <laughs> At least that's what I, I believe. But uh, when it comes to feelings, like Islam isn't solely about feelings. I know, like, and I say this because, like, if it was, like, then you wouldn't always just do something just because it feels right or when it feels wrong. Like, it was more of a feeling of, like, you know, when they say, like, oh, when you get married or you find your soulmate, like, oh, you know, you know. Well, it, it was pretty much that type of feeling. Like, you knew, so you knew. So for me, it was like, I, I essentially, I found my soul. I wasn't finding my soulmate, but I found my soul just so deep. Uh, it was like, I really, now I just have instilled like this true, firm belief of like, what is the truth? So some people might disagree with me on this, but again, we are here for the journey the fun ride to talk about the happy tears, the sad tears, and all the fun things in between. I want to keep this like super chill and just super, I just want to bring you along this journey with me because I, if I can help like one other person who might just be a new Muslim or somebody who might be newly practicing again, then like I'm great. I'm happy. If I can just help one person with my stories that they can resonate and relate and to know that you're not alone, you have support, then that's why I'm doing this and it makes it all all worth it. Uh, so yeah, thanks again so much for being here with me.